Borealis might be one of the most exciting snowboard brands you've never heard of. I've been lucky enough to try out some of their pretty adventurous free ride shapes, but this right here is the Tundra, their best selling all mountain snowboard. So the Tundra's been around since 2015 and it's consistently been garnering a larger following of fans over that time. I think there's two reasons for that. The first and crucially, this is just a really well-designed all-mountain snowboard. It's got all the right ingredients and shaping to make it a fantastic quiver in one that's going to suit loads of riders who've got a few seasons under their belt. The second is the way in which Borealis take all that design but integrate sustainable, locally sourced and environmentally friendly materials throughout the design. We've almost come to expect it from the big brands, but it's great to see Borealis sticking to their guns and taking a zero compromise approach to building boards closer in harmony with nature. We had the Tundra out in some classic late spring conditions and found ourselves riding it all around the mountain and through the park in a pretty wide variety of firm hard pack first thing in the morning, right through to super slushy snow by the afternoon. And I'm happy to say it handled everything impressively well. Starting with the shape, you've got that classic all mountain profile of camber in between the inserts with an early rocker rise in the tip and tail. Now there's a reason so many boards in this category opt for this profile, it works. Whether you're wanting grip, stability, pop and power, or you're looking for more forgiveness, pressability and easy turns out at the end of the board, the stance is also set back just a touch, which gives you some more of that all-mountain freeride versatility, keeping the nose of the board a bit more stable and capable of handling chopped and bumpy conditions. But the outline and the flex of the board is that of a true twin, and that's where a lot of the switch and freestyle versatility comes into play. It was super fun taking this thing through the park, and man, does it pack a punch in the pop department. The top sheet doesn't give much away, but underneath you'll find carbon beams running right through the length of the board, as well as Kevlar reinforcements running from right back here in the inserts all the way to the ends of the board in a V-shaped configuration. Our test team said when they were trucking this thing into the jump line, the ends of the board remained super stable on the run-in, and then when the time came to pop, the board felt spring-loaded and so full of energy. Compared to some boards on the market which leave this section in between the inserts free of other additives, those carbon beams definitely dial up the response and the torsional rigidity throughout the length. And even though the fiberglass layup is only made from softer biax laminates, I'd say the 6 out of 10 flex rating could almost be pushed up to a 7, especially when you're comparing it with other similar boards on the market. But performance is only half the story here. What we really like about the Tundra, and in fact the whole Borealis line, is their efforts to keep the boards pretty green. It's already got a pretty natural look about it with the bamboo top sheet, which is not only a highly renewable wood source, but a very resilient, lightweight and poppy material too. Bamboo also makes up one of the four types of wood used in the core, the other three being polonia, beech, and ash. They're all configured and milled to varying thicknesses to optimize the strength to weight ratio of the board. And it's also worth adding that they too are sourced from sustainably viable forests. To be honest though, that only really scratches the surface when it comes to sustainability here. Everything from bioresins and plant-based plastics to reversible base colors are used throughout the Borealis lineup to reduce waste and limit the environmental impact on each board to come out of their production. These factors only really count when the board lives up to the performance though, and thankfully the Tundra absolutely does. So for anyone out there looking for their new daily driver, perhaps looking to support a smaller rider owned brand, put this one high up on your list of potential options. You won't be disappointed. That's it for me guys. Let me know if you have any questions below and make sure you're subscribed to the White Lines YouTube channel for loads more product reviews dropping this winter. Have a good one, see you soon.